Hey, everybody. Thanks for checking out the Backyard Gardens podcast. If you like what we're doing and you want to continue to support the podcast, head over to our Patreon page to sign up. You can also make a one-time donation using PayPal. Both of these links are in the description. With your support, we can continue growing and helping others in their gardens. See ya. Do you plant your potatoes on Good Friday? Do April showers bring May flowers? Do all these things really mean anything? Is it fact or fiction? Right here on the Backyard Gardens Podcast, mini soon. To have a good harvest, one must plant good seeds and must also use the right kind of fertilizer. The carrots have grown large and firm. How good they will taste. Welcome to the Backyard Gardens Podcast, where we talk about all things gardening and give the information out for you to be successful in your garden, whether it's your first or your last. We are your hosts, Ben, the Backyard Gardener, and Batavia, the Front Yard Gardener. One in the country. One in the city. Now get ready as we dig deep into this wonderful world of gardening, as we learn to grow and grow for change. What do you think, Batavia? Do you follow these sayings or Um, traditions? I don't always, but I like them because it's an easy way for me to remember things. And I need all the hope I can get when it comes to remembering to do things. (laughs) (laughs) So the question here, I believe, is do they actually mean anything? Do they do they really help us or do they guide us in the wrong way? Are they true or false? So. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I understand what the episode's about. Thanks, though. Well, I know you do, but I'm talking <laughs> for the listeners. I mean, you know, but, you know, it may be hard for you to believe, but a lot of times there's more people than just us involved in the conversation. Get out of here. Get. Never mind. Someone's so, gonna have to, oh, wait, I, I want someone to prove that to me. I need people that are listening to this episode to reach out to let us know that they are listening to this episode, because otherwise, I mean... Yeah, just go to backyard at Backyard Gardens TV on Instagram and say, I listened. That's all you got to yeah. do. Yeah, because otherwise, just like numbers the internet gives us, who's to say that that's real? Well, look, mm. let's not. this episode is way too short for that, so. I'm just saying. <clears throat> so the good, the, the big one that um, when we started looking this up was, I plant my, uh, plant your potatoes on Good Friday, right? Have you heard that? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I have, yeah. Do you, do you do that? Uh, are we starting over yet? No, I don't do it. Did I answer it already or was that in my head? That was, okay. must have been in your head, I believe. Unless I wasn't paying attention, but I really hope I was paying attention because I'm sitting right here having a conversation. So I don't know. So time either warp. for the first time or for the second time, I do not as a general rule of thumb, as a general green rule of thumb. You see what I did there? L- it, oh. it kinda, I know that I had to come back around to it. So I know that it really didn't land, you know. That's but, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I can't think of a whole. I mean, I know, dude. There's so many, um, but let's let's talk about the potato one in particular because that's one that really sticks out in my head. Yeah, and so for those that are listening that are not in the U.S., well, I mean, well, let me just say this. So Good Friday generally is going to fall in April, right? Friday before Easter. Yeah. Um, and I've read some things about when Good Friday falls earlier versus later in April. And I have a whole bunch of opinions, like two of them, regarding, you know, how soon and close. And, you know, I feel like Chicago is so separate from the rest of the world, you know, and we just get this cold weather and you just have to be extra careful because we're Chicagoans and, you know, sometimes things don't survive the cold. So, yeah. All right. That's my synopsis. So, um, well, dive into your theories. I mean, we got, you know, we got 13 minutes left, so we better get going. All right. So we've talked about this before where you were like, oh, I see people around here planting potatoes and, you know, we still get a frost or whatever. You remember saying this? Yeah. Do you remember being as animated as I am with my hands? (laughs) Yeah, Yeah. I'm not typically animated, but yeah. (laughs) So the reason why I bring it up is because... um, For those that are listening and, you know, bless you if you listen to episodes where I was all like, our frost is going to be delayed here. It may not even come this year. Yeah, all lies. We got it already. We've gotten freezes. You know, it's coming back around the corner again. But I bring it up because I had some volunteer potatoes. Would you call them that if I just didn't dig them up? Yeah, let's call them that. 
So I left a couple of potatoes accidentally in one of my raised beds. And, you know, at some point in maybe September or October, I know probably October, I noticed, hey, that's a potato plant, like two of them. And so we got um, a absolute frost and then down to a freeze, so around 30 degrees over several nights. And the plant itself, it's absolutely dead. Right. right. So in my mind, if you go back to planting potatoes on Good Friday, from what I understand, the potato underneath the soil, as long as it hasn't um, uh, broken the, the soil level, as long as the plant has not actually come up out of the soil, you should probably right. be safe. However, from what I've experienced just this fall, if I plant my potatoes and then they actually emerge and then I get a frost, I'm in trouble. Yes. So it's a long explanation is to say I'd be super cautious for me and all other Chicagoans. um, No, I'm just being extreme there. But (laughs) I think that's the pause around it for me. Yeah. So for me, I mean, I can debunk this like right out the gate. And that's why I wanted to use it because it was super easy. (laughs) For me, I'm supposed to plant my potatoes in February. So what's that? So what's your logic for February planting? Well, so the whole thing is if you put the seed potato in the ground, mm-hmm. the, so I know that they, <clears throat> I can't remember the exact saying the potato farmers use, but it's something along the lines, like if you plant by Valentine's Day, then you won't have to worry about the um, cucumber, or not cucumber, the potato, Colorado potato beetle. Mm-hmm. So I think what it is, is it takes so much time for them to actually get going mm-hmm. that in our area, if we put them in by Valentine's Day, you know, and... There's a very loose rule around Valentine's. Usually it's like you start thinking about it then. Then Mm -hmm. you can, by the time it actually starts coming up, our frosts are going to be just about over. Mm -hmm. So Mm -hmm. right out of the gate with this one, like if I put it in on Good Friday, I mean, how Good Friday, frosts are over. You know what I mean? Like we're we're past that. So I don't, I don't think the saying is as late as Good Friday. I think it's just generally like good friday is a good time a lot of places will be at the point where once that seed potato you know breaks ground and emerges you'll be past the point of frost i think that's it for you february it, the whole colorado potato beetle i thought it was more of you'd be able to get your harvest early enough so before that colorado potato beetle strikes that could very well right? be the, the fact i don't know mm-hmm. that to be the i don't know if that's right or wrong but all i know is <laughs> If we waited until Good Friday, you know, that's late. So there's and what so the whole method that I'm thinking is like these sayings and this folklore Mm -hmm. as, um, you know, it goes for a whole lot of things is based on certain areas and where they originated. Mm -hmm. So the whole thing, too, like April showers bring May flowers. Well, that's a, a true saying. But here. In April, the flowers are coming up. You know what I mean? So it's, Mm -hmm. but when now, when I lived in New England, it was 100% spot on truth. So I have two internet answers, which I think are pretty interesting. And they're wildly different from what we've said, as well as each other. Nice. Uh, So, you know, why is it tradition or traditional to plant potatoes on Good Friday? So the first is Catholics planted potatoes on Good Friday in order to make them holy and therefore okay to eat. Okay. And some stories add that the seed potatoes were sprinkled with holy water before being planted. So that is theory or explanation one. Second one is Good Friday was the first day after Christmas and it was the first chance for gardening, which I think is pretty cool, right? Like, like, listen, this is just the first time we got a good, you know, we can get outside and get, you know, to work it in the garden because we've been working since Christmas. Right. But if you break, so the first one, Let's say, so it makes sense because the Irish are, you know, there's a lot of Catholics up there and they mm-hmm. eat a lot of um, potatoes. Potatoes. Mm-hmm. But the thing is, is since that saying was created, it's become a staple. Mm-hmm. But isn't that how most sayings go? Right. right. And so, so it's interesting to know that like, so that's how the saying originated. But now it's like people are like, oh, it's Good Friday. I'm going to go put my potatoes in the ground mm-hmm. or, you know. So, you know, enter in whatever else you've heard in your area. And I'm sure that I've heard, I, don't, I never paid a lot of attention to them because I felt like they led me in the wrong direction. And I would get so, this is key, I would get so tuned into that date 
that I would actually miss an opportunity or Mm -hmm. something like that beforehand. And it didn't really make sense. So I I would end up failing because of some of these, Mm -hmm. you know, Mm -hmm. dates that you hear. Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes sense. I think, though, um, I wanted to go back to your your planting them in February. And you said something along the lines of if we rewound, which we won't. I think rewound is a word. But anywho, if we go back, you said something along the lines of if I wait, I basically could have been growing for, you know, many weeks, you know, if I instead of planting in February. And so that also brings up and I kept on looking down at the timer because it's like. If you open this door, this turns into a full I, episode I now. But I'm gonna open. I'm gonna crack it open. Um, Just crack it open. Yeah, it's it's like this um, this pressure that we continue to put on ourselves. It's like gotta get it in, gotta get it in, gotta get it in, right? Mm-hmm. And on the flip side of it, um, if I felt good, like my weather was clear, like there wasn't a chance for a May frost. If I felt like that, I'd absolutely use it as a guide because it's something my mind can remember. You know, so as I'm trying to juggle, you know, kind of planting time, starting seeds, getting things outdoors without a notebook, as I'm trying to do all of that, like I like those little um, um, what limericks is what they would call them for songs. Right. Like I like to be able to say, all right, our good Friday's coming up. Got to get out there and get my potatoes. in. Um, But my anxiousness around if I, I, I feel like I got one shot if I plant those potatoes and then somehow we get a May frost, which I feel like I can go back and we don't normally. This is just all in my head. Um, but anywho, that's my pause, right? So I'm, I'm totally opposite. Like, I don't want to try to get it in earlier. I want to see like, what's the latest I can plant for that safety period. And that feels so, like it's never good Friday for me. Do you want to do something? You want to hear something interesting? <clears throat> I got yet another answer on the internet about it. And it mm-hmm. says, um, let's see, we're, we're talking about potatoes still. And it mm-hmm. said, this might be a relationship between the myth and the Irish famine, Mm-hmm. The futility mm-hmm. of the myth is only apparent when you consider that Good Friday is a shifting target that sometimes falls smack dab in the middle of the frost. So if you plant your potatoes in your garden, that's one myth you should always ignore. The best time to grow potatoes is in the spring after the last frost. As Yoda would say, a Good Friday might be anything, but a good time to plant your potatoes, it is not. <laughs> that but is you from- know what? I don't even know this is so this is just a site about garden superstitions, but go ahead. What? Well, I mean, I think on, on fact or fiction episodes, we can totally like you know, uh, maybe not so trusted sources. I think we can oh, throw that yeah. out there. Yeah. So yeah. I think that um, it opens up the whole idea of after your last frost. Like, who in the shit knows that it's your last frost until, you know what I mean? Like, it's not like, oh, it's frost tonight. Oh, yep, that's the last one. I know the averages. I know all of that. You know, I, you know, I know that. But that's not, but that's exactly my point. When these superstitions, folklores, or traditions, whatever you want to call them, were made, Mm -hmm. there was no, this is the average frost date. Mm -hmm. There was no, let me check my weather bug or watch the weather channel, which if you watch the weather channel, I'm sorry, but that's a different story. (laughs) You know, but there, there was none of that. So it was like, okay, Easter was a, it stuck out in everybody's mind. Mm-hmm. And so a lot of things may have gone around those time frames because it happened in April. Mm-hmm. And so if you think about it, it makes sense because they knew that that was a safe time. Now, I don't know, understand here in North Carolina why if I plant, like I plant my potatoes in February when clearly we're going to get some more frost. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. come Valentine's Day this year, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start looking at the forecast because I'm not an ancient. I can do that. Don't don't <laughs> side eye the timer. It's making me panic. And um, I'm going to go out go and I'm going to plant sometime between February and March 1st and see if that works. Because by the time they actually mm-hmm. sprout and everything and come out of the ground, we should be coming to mm-hmm. the very end of our frost dates. Yeah, And that's the important part. Hey, I'm going to share this website with you when we get off of here that uh, you can look back to see when your average, when your actual last frosts were from year to year. I don't know if I've shared that with you in the past. So I'm going to share oh, it with you. Oh, come on. Don't, you're going to make me gag. <laughs> <laughs> so how how much do you have faith in, let's just say, fo- I and mean, we didn't have time to break down all of them, obviously, mm-hmm. but in this one in particular, let's say, and then moving forward for, let's just say, a majority of them. How many shovels full of compost would you give it? Between one and five. One being, no, you wouldn't do it. Five being, yeah. I'm going to go with one. Me too. 
Yeah. A resounding one. Yeah. It's a conditional one. And, it, you know, if if uh, Good Friday was the same Friday every year, then maybe it'd get a higher rating for me. But just with the dates and the way that they fluctuate. Eh. Yeah, if all of I'm our climates were the same, I'd buy it. But mm-hmm. all of our climates are not different because I'm going to tell you in Florida, California, you guys plant in February or April, you late. So <laughs> there's that. All right, everybody. I hope this has helped you. This was, I think this is a longer episode maybe that we could dive into one day about multiple ones and break them down. Mm-hmm. But for right now, we're going to leave yeah. it with this and test the water. If you want to hear a longer one, let us know. Batavia's got her hand up quickly. Yeah, I feel like um, the pressure of minisodes allowed me to mispronounce the crop we're talking about. So I'll make sure I'm clear. Um, I will not plant potatoes on Good Friday. Right. It's potatoes. And with that, love you guys. See ya. <laughs> One of the most common questions we get asked is, what do we use in our gardens as far as products? Well, we have an Amazon list below that if you go to, you can see all of the products that we use and like and recommend and you can buy them. And if you do, you support the podcast at no extra cost to you. So check out the link below for our Amazon store and help support the podcast and enjoy your gardens. Thanks for hanging out with us today. If you want to see what we're up to or just stay up to date on all the announcements regarding the show or anything gardening, then you can follow us on Instagram at Backyard Gardens TV. We love seeing what you guys are doing. So use hashtag BYG podcast in your post and we'll be sharing your gardens with the Backyard Gardens community. And check us out on YouTube at Backyard Gardens where we will post this show, all of our other shows, clips, and then also some gardening tips and just gardening entertainment. And you can see us at our website at BackyardGardensTV.com. But that's it for today's show. So help us as we learn to grow and grow from change. And until next time, we'll catch you guys later. We'll call this one a wrap. Now you know why people feel like celebrating at harvest time. All over the world, people have feasting and good times when the crops have been gathered in.